hello everyone welcome back to my channel gems of knowledge so in today's video we are going to deal with the model paper of uh, class 9th mathematics okay this is the board paper which you can see over here so without wasting our time let's quickly start with the video before starting you know the drill make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as i post my new video so let's start with the first one okay you can see here choose the most appropriate among them and write it along with the alphabet okay so the alternatives are given over here this is the mcq questions you need to solve it so the first one the value of 4 3 by 2 is okay so we need to solve 4 3 by 2 this can be written as like this 4 into 4 into 4 as you can see this is 3 by 2 3 means 3 times 4 we have to write and this is the square root as we all know square root by 2 means square root okay so we are getting square root of 4 4 is 16 16 4 is 64 and this can be written as 8 into 8 okay square root of 64 is nothing but directly we can write 8 into 8 means 8 8 is 64 which means 8 square and the square and root is cancelled we are left with 8 okay so the correct answer is a 8 okay second question the measure x in the following figure is so we need to find out what is the measure of this angle in this following figure okay so first one 60 90 120 or 180 so you can see if this angle is 60 degree definitely this angle will be also 60 degree okay if this angle is 60 degree what will be this angle so we know that this complete angle is equals to 180 degree okay so in 180 if we subtract 60 degree what we are going to get is 120 degree so the answer over here is 120 this angle is 120 that is c 120 degree okay next one in a polynomial p of x is equals to 3x square minus 2 the value of p of 1 is so we need to substitute in place of x p of 1 in place of x we need to substitute p of 1 which is equals to 3 into 1 square minus 2 okay so 3 into 1 square is 1 only 3 into so this is 3 into 1 minus 2 that is 3 minus 2 is 1 so the answer is b that is b 1 okay we'll move to the next fourth question among this among this one of the solution for the equation x plus 2y is equals to 6 is so we need to calculate all this okay this is x y this is also x y this is also x y and this is also x y now in place of this x and y we need to substitute each one of them and check whether we are getting 6 or no okay so let us start with the first one x plus 2y is equals to 6 this is the equation okay and here first one is x is 1 and y is 3 substitute x is 1 plus y is 3 so whether we are getting 6 you can see here 2 into 3 is 2 3 is a 6 6 plus 1 is 7 so this is not equal to 6 similarly second one 3 plus 2 into 1 you can see this is y and this is x in place of x i have written 3 in place of y i have written 1 so this is is equal to 6 2 ones are 2 2 plus 3 is 5 so this is also not equal to 6 next one is 4 comma 2 so here we need to put 4 plus 2 into 2 is equal to 6 this is 2 twos are 4 4 plus 4 is 8 this is also not equal to 6 last one what is remaining is 2 comma 2 so 2 plus 2 into 2 is equal to 6 is it correct 2 twos are 4 4 plus 2 is 6 so our answer is d 2 comma 2 okay if a point m lies on x axis then its coordinate r see the point m is lying on x axis they have given okay so if it is lying on x axis then according to this this is the correct answer because first axis will be x and second axis will be y so if m is lying on the line x axis then there is no y value okay so the y value will be zero so the answer here is x comma zero okay next 
if the probability of winning a game is 0.86 then probability of not winning the game so in 100% they have given us 0.86 so 100% in the sense we can tell that if the probability probability is always equal to 1 okay it will be always nearly equal to 1 so this is 0 0.86 okay if we remove if we subtract this 1.00 minus 0 0.86 the answer we are left with is see we will carry this here 10 and here 9 and this will be 10 okay so 10 minus 6 is 4 9 minus 8 is 1 and this is 0 so we are getting the answer to be as 0 0.14 so this is the correct answer that is 0 0.14 okay next the area of triangle abc in the given figure is so you can see this for this triangle we need to find the area of triangle okay so if they have given this square box, it means this angle A is equal to 90 degree. Okay. If this is 90 degree, then we should consider this triangle to be as like this. Okay. It, it means this phi is base and this 2L is height. Okay. This is base and this is height and this is hypotenuse side. Okay. Now we need to find the area of this triangle. As we know for the right angle triangle, area of triangle is equals to half into base into height. So half base value is 5 into height we are having as 12. So 2 ones are 2 six are. We are left with 5 into 6, 5 six are 30 centimeter square. Okay, so the correct answer here is D1 that is 30 centimeter square. Okay, next observe the given figure. So observe this given figure. The correct relationship among this is. So you can see this is AB. Okay, they have given AP is greater than all this. This AP is greater than all this. That is addition of all that. No, this is wrong. Okay, AR is greater than AB. This AR is greater than this AB. No, this is also wrong. Next, AP, this AP plus PQ plus QR is less than AB. This is less than sign. Yes, less than AB means AB is greater than addition of all these three. This is correct. So, we can write this one B that is AP plus PQ plus qr is less than ab okay next one write the number that is to be multiplied to 3 plus root 3 to make it rational number okay so to make it rational number we need 3 plus root 3 is there okay so we need to multiply this with 3 minus root 3 okay to make it rational number we need to multiply this like this so that this is in the form of a plus b and a minus b. So the answer here will be a square minus b square. So this is of the formula identity that is a plus b and a minus b which is equals to a square minus b square. So a square in the sense this is 3 square minus root 3 whole square. So we are getting 3 square is 9 minus root and square is cancelled so 3 will be as it is so 9 minus 3 is 6 so 6 can be written as 6 by 1 which is rational number okay so here the answer is write the number that is to be multiplied to 3 plus root 3 so this is the number which is to be multiplied by root 3 plus root 3 to make it rational okay next how many straight lines can be drawn that passes through two distinct points now two distinct points are there so to to connect this how many lines can be drawn so we can draw only one line to connect this how many straight lines can be drawn that passes through two distinct points so the answer is only one line only one straight line okay next 
the sum of interior write the sum of interior angles of a trapezium so a trapezium will be of this shape as you all know like this okay so i can say that this is a b c d trapezium is having four side means it is a quadrilateral so for every quadrilateral we know that sum of interior angles is equals to 360 degree for all the quadrilaterals the sum of interior angles is equals to 360 degree next okay in the given figure if the area of parallelogram abcd is 42 cm square so see look at this parallelogram a b c and d if the area of this parallelogram is 42 cm square then find the area of parallelogram e f c and d okay so basically what you can see into this figure is this both are parallelogram and both the parallelogram are have are lying on the same base that is dc it is having the same base and same parallels that is this and this parallel lines you can see in the figure they have shown us that this line and this line both are parallel so we are having one theorem that is that is parallelogram having same base and same having same base and same parallels and same parallels are equal in area so both are having the same areas so area of parallelogram is equals to therefore area of parallelogram efcd is equals to 42 cm square so both will be equal okay write the expanded form of x plus y plus z whole square so this is the identity x plus y plus z whole square is equals to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx this is the expanded form write the distance of point p of minus 3 8 from x axis okay now this is like uh, it is a diagram of a graph let me show you this is our x axis and this is our y axis now this is 0 1 sorry this is actually this must be minus sorry this is minus so it should be in minus this is our x dash which is in minus so this is minus 1 this is minus 2 and minus 3 suppose okay this is minus 3 now this is as you start with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 suppose your 8 is lying somewhere here so the point will be here that is minus 3 and 8 means this point will be here okay now write the distance of the point from x axis your x axis is this at what distance it is here so it is at 8 y is 8 it means it is at 8 cm away from your x axis so when they are asking you x axis you should write the value for y and when they are asking you y axis you should write the value for x axis okay so here the answer is the distance of the point the distance of point p of minus 3 comma 8 is 8 cm you write or 8 meter you write depending upon the graph okay 8 units you can write or 8 units okay next one in the given figure ab is equals to cd suppose this ab is equals to this cd and on this value they have given that is 3 cm on is 3 cm find the length of om okay this om is also 3 cm since equal chords of the circle these are the equal chords of the circle as they have already given equal chords of the circle are equidistant from the center 
okay because equal chords of the circle these are the two equal chords of the circle which are equi distance from the center point means if this is on is at 3 cm then obviously this om will be also 3 cm so what you are going to write over here is om is equals to 3 cm since since equal chords of circle are equi distance from center okay next find the volume of the cube whose edges are 9 cm each so edge they have given edge that is a is equals to 9 cm so according to the volume of cube formula volume of cube is equals to a cube so which is 9 cube that is 9 into 9 into 9 Okay, nine nines are eighty one, and eighty one into nine will be nine ones are nine, nine eights are seventy two. So the answer is seven twenty nine centimeter cube. Okay, centimeter cube for the volume we are getting centimeter cube. Okay, so I hope you have understood with this video. and the next part of this model paper will be done into the next video so don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll be back soon with another video so till then stay tuned and stay connected thank you